So, Ren. Ren, R-E-N. One of the most talented, outspoken, eloquent musicians we have in the UK <clears throat> who graduated from Bar Spa Commercial Music Degree Program in 2012 is ill again. Indeed, he's a sick boy again. Sick meaning good. Yeah, he's a very good person. His music must be nearly two years ago, landed <laughs> on my ears and, and into my brain, as it did to a lot of people. Um, surprisingly fresh and it doesn't pull any punches it's very now uh, he addresses issues like depression violence suicide posts Orwellian concepts. He's very, his music's very immediate and approachable. The production value is just simply superb. And he's a brilliant musician. So he's fallen sick again and he's left us with a message and I've just read somebody else's message like this from an older person and a musician and it has inspired me just to say something here uh, in front of a old fair light it started off this particular chapter in music history, really, in 1979. Kind of giving it me a bit of context, really, I hope. So what has made Wren a sick boy again? Just when he'd spent <clears throat> ages in Canada having what must have been very expensive and intense uh, I think daily treatment for an immuno problem caused by a tick and then misdiagnosis from I think this country and then all, all sorts of complications and somehow he's managed to get through it he's managed to keep his gym fitness regime together he still looks great he sounds great his voice is like a an elastic band he can get right up there and he can get really growly and angry in your face and he can be incredibly tender um i mean i wish my demos had sounded like this. Not that I've ever, ever wanted to be a singer-songwriter. But it's just extraordinary work. All of his work is incredible. Um, and we were waiting for a new album. And he'd just done his first live show in five years. Um, yeah. So what's triggered this? Well, there's a lot on the internet. 
And what appears to hap have happened, although I did kind of flag it up in an email to his manager back in October 2023, is that, like many musicians, producers, um, I bought, well, like I've done in the past, I bought some samples from a sample library. So these are little bits of recordings that are licensed and you're allowed to buy them. And once you've bought them, you can then start using them in your production with other samples. And so then it could be anything. It could be a drum beat. It could be a vocal sample. It could just be something, a synth sound or, or a natural sound, a bird call or something like that. So what happens is your, your sample, which you bought and have a license for, is then joined into your composition. But the problem here, and it's all over the internet, I'm just trying to explain it in a different way, is that the person who sold Ren the sample that went into Ren's song, the person who sold him the sample didn't have permission from the people or the person who made the original sample. So effectively, this is a lie and this sample was illegal. And now this guy who is not the original owner of the recording, the sample, this guy who sold the sample, which Ren then used in his song Sick Boy, which is the title track of his first big album, which got to number one a few weeks before Peter Gabriel's album I.O. got to number one. has tried to claim the guy who stole the sample or didn't get it licensed he's tried to claim some of the ownership of Ren's song which incorporates a little sample in Ren's new copyright called Sick Boy. And now the irony is this whole very public problem caused by the guy who didn't legally sell something that was legally his or hers is has made Ren ill again because it's really stressful when you think you own something that becomes part of your own composition and has been loved all over the world by over a million people who haven't necessarily bought it, Ren <laughs> gives his music away. He's very generous. He's like a true artist. So the reason why I'm doing this is because I love Ren very much. I love what he's doing. I like what he's done. I think it's very challenging what he says, and I think I agree with most of it. And I think he's very, very brave. And I think <coughs> it makes my medical issues 
pale into insignificance because I'm still able to function. I've still got some kind of a sense of humor, apparently. But Ren is now sick. He's a sick boy again because somebody sold him something. He didn't have permission to sell. And that has literally pulled the rug from underneath Ren's world and that of a world of very loyal over a million people all ages we're all very very concerned about Ren so I hope I've made that clear and he needs our prayers and support because he got a number one album from a very loyal fan base without all the usual trappings of a major record company and that is extraordinary and that is down to his music his personality and his drive to get over years of being ill and now he's back not at square one. Oh god no he's definitely not at square one and he's brought a lot of us with him thank you ren Connor, just be strong. Okay. Love you very much. Roger, over and out.